This tutorial is a buckling analysis of a column, fixed at one end. The column is of length 100 mm, with a 10 by 10 mm square cross section. The critical load, is required to be determined. The analysis type needs to be changed to two-dimensional, and the buckling 2D beam selected. In the text box for the number of modes type 3, and specify a non-zero value for the shift point. The shift point, is explained in the analysis types chapter, of the tutorials and reference PDF guide. The new node tool button, is used to create the endpoints of the column. And the new element tool button, is used to create an element between the two nodes. More elements are then created, using the Refine All Tool button. Right-click the component in the Outline tree, to assign a material to the elements. In the Geometric tab, type the cross-sectional properties. In the Mechanical tab, type the Young's Modulus. Select the node at the top. Right-click Loads and Constraints, then select New Force. For the force along the Y-axis, type a value of minus 1. There are two ways of applying a fixed support. The first way is to select the node, then individually, apply the constraints to the three nodal degrees of freedom for this element type, by right-clicking Loads and Constraints, then selecting New Displacement, select X. Repeat for Y. To eliminate the rotational degree of freedom, right-click Loads and Constraints, then choose on selected nodes, and select New Road Z. The second way is to use the Tool button to show element faces. Rotate the model to view the bottom face. Activate the Select Faces mode. Then click to select the bottom face. Next, right-click Loads and Constraints, then select New Fixed Support. Next, solve the model. To view the results, click the Modes in the Solution section of the Outline tree. Use the Animation tool, to view the buckling mode shape. The buckling factor must be multiplied by the applied load for the critical load. This matches the expected value. This ends the column buckling analysis tutorial. A step-by-step -step explanation of this analysis is available in the beginner's PDF guide.